Guys, I'd really like to know why I thought it was a smart idea to use my bird watching camera today that is literally high quality 4K definition and put on zero makeup and you know just turn up looking like this like what was i actually thinking because it's just not a good combination the camera that literally shows everything and then me turning up looking like this but anyway hello everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing really well i'm so excited for this video a little bit of a random one um but yeah so excited about it so over the last few months you guys may have noticed me talking about a new office space now before i carry on talking i will just quickly mention you can probably hear quite a hefty amount of like road noise basically through to one little snag we have double glazed windows in the office but they're kind of open at the minute like they're kind of a little bit open i think when we had the flooring fitted the the windows were opened and now we can't seem to properly shut them so please do bear with if you if you hear a little bit of noise they are double glazed but they're just open so apologies for that so yeah you guys may have noticed me talking about our new office space over on my instagram here on my youtube i've been talking about it a little bit it's been a massive project i'm gonna insert some pictures now as to what the office looked like literally just i'm not even joking like a couple of months ago this has been without a doubt the quickest i've ever known a renovation to happen and it's made me question my whole entire existence because i just want to know why my house took three to five working years to be finished when this office got done in about a week's time like i'm literally not joking like why did my house take so long to renovate when we literally did like we didn't even do that much to it no we did do quite a lot to it actually but yeah i don't know this space has transformed what feels like overnight and the whole reason i'm doing this video is because i posted a picture on my main feed on my instagram the other day saying that i had a really good day we finally moved into the office and i had so many of you asking for an office tour and i kind of had just written off an office tour in my head i, I didn't even consider doing it because i never film like tours anymore i never filmed a house tour for my last house i didn't film a house tour for the house before that like i feel like tours of places have just kind of eradicated from my life but i do feel like there's absolutely no reason why i can't do a tour of our new office space i am literally over the moon with it i just actually showed my dad and his sister so my auntie around they just came to visit bambi and i brought them over here to show them the space and they were literally like speechless they were like this is incredible one thing i will say is that it's not only filled by molly may me in here and some other things going on in here from my side i'm actually sharing this office half with another business owned by two very good friends of mine the business is treats studios you guys may have seen it over on instagram they're the business that create these phone cases they do the balloon chain necklaces with like the initials on and stuff i think i showed them in my last video so we are actually halves on this office with treat studios because it's a really big space and neither of our businesses needed a space this big right now so it made perfect sense to go in halves i'm such good friends with the girls that own that business that it just it just felt like the right move to make there's plenty of space for all of us in here it's such a nice communal area the filter girls had their first day in here the other day and there was like treats girls here there was filter girls here i was in um, anuska and alicia her own treats were in and the energy in the office was so lovely like it just felt such a positive happy working environment like full of women like full of business women full, full of women that like have aspirations and goals and it's just such a motivating space and i feel like being around other people that uh, have a business mindset and care about work and want to succeed want to elevate want to do well like that is so motivating for me and yeah just such a positive lovely space to be in for me as well it was really important to differentiate my work from my home life it got to the point where i felt like i really wasn't separating my work life from my home life um, so obviously one of the benefits of having this office is that I can come work my hours do what I need to do get things done and then I can leave and then go back home and then forget about work and just be with Bambi and be in my, my mum mode and just get things done so yeah today I'm going to do you guys a bit of an office tour um, probably include some other bits as well just because I'm sure the office tour won't be that long like it's a big space but I can probably show you around quite quickly and I don't want to make it too boring for you guys because there's not loads to talk about but yeah let me show you guys around so our office space is split into kind of like three separate rooms now I'm going to hold the camera as steady as possible. I have got my little um, like attachment thing to it to try and keep it steady, but I really don't want it to be shaky. So this is room number one. This is kind of like a communal working space with a large table. We have eight chairs around this. To be completely honest, this wasn't actually the original table that we wanted in this space. This room 
it's actually huge and it could have fitted a much larger table but we really struggled to find one that we liked that was any bigger than this and these tables we actually have another one of these in the office compared to what we were looking at before it was very reasonable i believe this table was about 400 pounds i'm gonna link everything down below like the main bits of furniture tables chairs um little things that i think you guys are going to want to know where they're from but this room leads into the kitchen now i'm fully aware the fire extinguisher is not giving the aesthetics that we you know we are strive for in this office it's really not serving any form of look whatsoever but you know guys safety first and if there was a tonal nude fire extinguisher or a white fire extinguisher best believe we would have it on order right now so yeah please just ignore that for now much better so yes this room leads on into the kitchen i will go on to show you that we've obviously as you can see had these um is it voils um what are the proper name for this like the shears sorry these like sheer curtains fitted pretty much the whole way around the office just to make it nice and and private and also like I say just adds the aesthetics makes it very soft and girly and then here we have one of many mirrors all the mirrors that you'll see in the office are from William Wood mirrors I'll link them down below and um, we're so pleased with them I'm absolutely obsessed with the arch and it's absolutely huge if we had space for one of these in our house I would most definitely get one for it so yeah this is room number one so pleased with it I think the filter girls will work in here quite a bit just because it's a nice like table area a nice communal space where people can work together and then I'll just show you through into our kitchen. So through here, we have a really good sized kitchen. Honestly, guys, if you'd seen this before, I'm gonna keep inserting pictures so you guys can fully see the transformation. It's been insane. So, oh, nice tea towel. Let me just move that. If you follow me over on my home account, you may have seen me going on about um, our new little coffee station. The girls were putting it to good use yesterday. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. It's from Smeg. I actually bought this as like my little treat to the office. I've been going on about it for so long I saw it on Pinterest and I knew I wanted to get it for the office as like my little treat to the office um so yeah we've got like a proper little barista milk jug and everything and then I got these pumps from Amazon I got the glass drawers from Amazon I got these like glass um wooden cat tumblers from Amazon as well I'm not sure where these are from um, but like I say, I'll link everything down below. And then next very bougie thing of us, uh, the sink is quite dirty, so I'm gonna try and not show you that. We had a cooker tap installed, which I am so buzzing about. It's very bougie of us. Um, I have one of these in the house at home and basically it creates boiling water. So that's now boiling water. This one creates sparkling water. So that's sparkling water. No, it's not actually, that's still hot water. Okay, I'm not gonna do a full demonstration just because I don't wanna burn myself whilst trying to film this at the same time, but it creates boiling water, sparkling water filtered water and then you just got like the normal tap for like washing up and stuff but yeah we had a cooker tap installed which was a bit uh, fancy of us and then fridge microwave we're really lucky it's got a dishwasher in here as well and then this is the view coming out from the kitchen the thing i would say that i think we are going to change is obviously the doors are not that cute um i think i we have spoken about painting them white from the inside just so they go a bit nicer but i will say the office isn't fully finished yet and then for anyone wondering what's inside that door there it's literally just like a storage cupboard with like electrical bits and stuff so now into the main office space the piesta resistance i am honestly guys so obsessed with the main space in this office like i just love it so much so this is what i'd call like the main working area like the main communal area we have these four glass desks here we are actually contemplating getting two more just because i think everyone wants to work in this space as much as this space is also lovely like there's just something about this room with like the windows the mirrors like the tv the the living room space like it's so cozy i think obviously everyone wants to work in here i definitely do so yeah i think we're gonna get a couple more glass desks and we do have the room for it so here we have our like communal sitting area we have a tv we have these units here do ignore the sweets in these jars they don't look that cute we need to pick some cuter looking sweets to go in there again i'm really sorry i can't remember where these units are from but like i say i will link everything down below for anyone that's interested where like specific things are from and then funny story for this sofa <laughs> god um so basically this sofa was actually my sofa from our living room at home but we actually decided to change our sofa in our living room we just wanted something a little bit different we wanted something in a bit of a different style slightly more slouchy slightly comfier to make it a bit more of like a movie room space this sofa was a little bit too formal for that space for us so this sofa was in storage 
for ages um, and I just didn't know what to do with it. I was waiting for to find someone who wanted to buy it off us and then when we got the office space I was like oh my god I have the most perfect sofa for the space that I'm not using and I'd rather just put it in the office and use it in that way so yeah the sofa came in handy massively we were really buzzing about this and then in the corner we have one of our olive trees and oh guys you're not actually gonna believe where these are from I do know where these are from and it's Costco can you believe it I think one of the treats girls saw someone post about it on their Instagram story. Um, I think they said it was Lily Grace Prescott um, on Instagram. She potentially posted about some olive trees from Costco or something. Um, I have to check that. But yeah, these are from Costco. How insane. You'd never guess it. They look so gorgeous. I literally love them. And then we have put these little lights um, in the plug-in just behind just to add like a bit of like mood lighting. Um, so yeah, we are planning to get a rug for underneath the coffee table. But this coffee table is from Sweet Pea and Willow. We got a lot of our furniture from there. They were absolutely amazing the delivery times were so quick and then another William Wood mirror here um, lots of outfit mirror picks incoming but not today because this outfit is definitely not giving although I do love this cardigan it's from Zara such a like a soft cozy little cardigan love this so yeah this is like the communal space uh, we still need to add like ornaments like finishing touches it's definitely not finished yet we actually have this whole corner over here where we're not actually entirely sure what we're going to do with this space yet. These are the chairs, if you guys remember. I got these from HomeSense. Um, I did like a little bit of a HomeSense haul and these were the chairs that I found. Now, we really had high hopes for these chairs and we really thought they were going to go with the vibe but as you can see like we've gone for a lot of like a more floaty sort of gentle wholesome dreamy vibe i can't explain it but i don't know if the chairs really go anymore so we are contemplating making this corner into like a bit of a studio space somewhere where we can do flat lays for filter you know somewhere where the treats girls can shoot flat lays and stuff so that is um in talks at the minute but we're not entirely sure yet what we're going to do with this space so yeah that's the main office communal working space i am just honestly so so over the moon with it i don't feel like it even translates in this video like how homey and pleasant and just lovely it feels in here it just has a really really nice energy in this room i'm just literally obsessed with it and then heading on into our final room one thing i do like about this office is that each room sort of separates off we have these glass doors um and we've been using this as like a meeting room this room is by far finished yet we're going to pop another tv on the wall there which some of you may think is a little bit weird because why would you have a tv behind a desk but actually we were in a meeting yesterday and we had someone come in and we were trying to show them something on the laptop screen they were sat there i was sat there and it was just a little bit tricky and it would have been a lot nicer if we could have like projected or like screen mirrored what we were trying to show onto the tv for the person that come in for the meeting to see um so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna have our logos put up on the wall um another william wood mirror there and also you may have noticed slippers um we're not actually wearing our shoes in the office at the minute just because we want to keep it as clean and fresh and tidy as possible. These chairs are from iColts via Sweet Pea and Willow. Like I say, we've got a lot of our furniture from there. I believe the rug is Sweet Pea and Willow. The coffee table is Sweet Pea and Willow. I have a lot of iColts furniture in my house and the delivery times are normally really long, but via Sweet Pea and Willow, it was so quick and like a seamless experience using them. So couldn't recommend them more. And yeah, that's our little meeting space. So that's our third room. And then obviously it just flows back into this room so yeah that is the office i'm literally like over the moon with it it makes me so happy to be in here also how gorgeous are these chairs i need to find out where these are from again oh what is it called now it's called oh i'm literally gonna get so annoyed not remembering that um, it had like a short name i'm gonna leave it on the screen because i'm pretty sure where these chairs are from is the same place from where these are from and also the chairs in there which i don't know if you guys have noticed these chairs are actually quite similar to my dining table chairs in my house but literally a fraction of the price because the chairs around my table at home I had to honestly remortgage the house to be able to buy them but these i believe were uh, quite cheap these were a bargain because we wanted cheap chairs like, to buy eight of them like it can be a lot of money to buy chairs for a table so yeah little office tour for you all i hope you enjoyed it it's not a huge like massive space to get around so i'm sure i probably got through that quite quickly but it's just like the most perfectly sized office for filter and for me and for treats like to come in together like it's just worked out so well well and we're just so pleased with it oh one thing i will mention as well with the flooring i didn't mention who did the flooring um we had the most incredible guy lay our flooring i'm going to leave his details down below um and the flooring itself is from a company called khan dean i'll leave their details down below as well chef's kiss honestly incredible aaron the guy who laid it for us and his team were just incredible like the nicest guys ever and just 
couldn't have done a better job like genuinely if you'd seen the flooring if you'd just seen this office before like you would not believe the transformation that's happened with it overnight it's just insane and it was thanks to people like Aaron and Kandeem with the flooring and just like just everyone coming together that it was able to just happen overnight and I'm just yeah so so grateful to everyone that was involved now just because I'm sure this vlog hasn't been that long um and something very exciting has happened today I think this would be the perfect opportunity to talk to you guys about something that I know so many of you are dying to know about and just been asking me so many questions about it and that is this beauty my next edit with cosmotips which launches today yes today guys i am literally so excited about it i feel like i've been going on quite a lot about it on my instagram and on my i did a video about it recently as well i have never in my life been so excited for a cosmotips edit i think this is my four is it volume four now this is volume four and this is just by far the biggest and best edit yet i cannot get over it and i know so many of you want to know what's inside obviously i'll link it down below i'm going to give you all the information down below there's gonna be a lot of stuff down below today <laughs> big description box and i never do a big description box but i just know so many of you are excited about this and as you know as always limited limited numbers and once this is gone it will not be restocked and i always feel so bad it happens every single time sorry that's shaking it happens every single time when some of you guys don't manage to get your hands on it in time it sells out like that and like i say doesn't come back once it's gone which is a little bit heartbreaking because the deal that you get on this edit is just second to none i, I don't know how she does it personally i'm buying this edit alone for the bag the bag it's incredible we worked on this design for so long for you guys now it probably looks like quite an ordinary wash bag wait till i open it and show you the design and how it works it's like a little tardis it's so cool normally we just open a vanity bag and it would just have this section here but you have this whole extra space to put everything in i literally don't know how it works it is so cool and i'm obsessed with it and also the, the rich chocolate brown color it just looks so expensive so first up you get your booklet which basically explains to you everything you're going to get inside this edit i want to just quickly explain to you the costing of this edit and just why it is literally so incredible because i still actually can't wrap my head around it i have to explain this to you guys so revitalash alone is a product that's worth 129 pounds now the cost that you will pay for this whole entire edit 11 products you will pay 120 pounds now let's do the math revitalash is 129 pounds to buy off the shelf the whole edit for 11 products 11 incredible products is 120 pounds so technically you are saving nine pounds on revitalash and getting every single other product for free on. I can't wrap my head around it. How? Make it make sense because I don't understand. Nine pounds off this and every single other product for free. That is literally how it works out. Mind is blown. Mind is literally blown. I've just moved you a little bit so you can see a little bit clearer. The whole edit itself, so all of these products together, are worth £533. And like I say, the cost of this edit with the bag included, all these products, £120. You can see why these sell out so quickly. I wouldn't be able to get my hands on this quick enough. I'm so lucky I've already got one, but yeah. Yeah, I genuinely mean it when I say run, don't walk because they're on sale now down below. I'm going to leave the link. Product number one is the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. I cannot rave about this product enough. It is incredible. It's without a doubt my favorite face cream that I use at the moment. And it takes me a lot to really fall in love with the product and repeat use it over and over. But I have hit the bottom of about three of these creams. It's like a gel consistency. The smell is so fresh it's so thick so hydrating it feels so luxurious um and yeah i was so excited when i found out we were going to be able to get this in this edit because i'd say it's most definitely my top face cream to date next up we have a full size all of these products are full size actually i should have said that but we have the ren glow tonic here i've used this product for about two or three years now it's such a gorgeous toner it makes me feel so fresh it adds such a nice glow to my skin and yeah i repeat use this constantly i don't know why i keep going out of focus Really annoying I think it's because it's like focusing it's got too much to think about like the bird watching camera can do a lot but don't ask too much from it because it's still just a camera pull thing so yeah that's a very very good one was very excited to get that in the edit next up we have the elemis glow cleansing butter now this is very similar when i'm talking i really want to be in focus i'm sorry this is so annoying i don't know why it's doing this hello cooey god guys what am i it's just not working there we go. Um, this is very similar to the Elemis cleansing balm, the one that I literally use day in, day out for as long as I can remember now. Um, but this one's actually better. This one's actually even more insane. Let me show you it inside. This is what it looks like. How gorgeous is that? It looks like a like 
carrot concoction. So this specific cleansing butter from Elemis is so hydrating. It takes off your makeup beautifully, cleans your face beautifully, but it also adds a lot of hydration. Whereas sometimes the other cleansing butter, I know people can find it a little bit drying. I personally don't, but this one is incredible for packing hydration back into your skin. Like you almost don't need to go in with a moisturizer after you use this. Very great if you're in a rush and you want to miss out that extra step. Next up for a little accessory, we have a limited edition filled by Molly May claw clip. Now these have been created over only for this Cosmetips edit. So only people that buy this edit will be able to have these claw clips, which is so fun and so like exciting because there's only gonna be a few people that have these clips. We aren't making them for the Filter by Molly May website. We're literally just having them for this edit. This is like a bespoke product for this specific one. So yeah, this is gonna be inside too. Next up, we have the Laneige Sleeping Mask. I've gone on about this product so much in the past. This is what it looks like. And it also comes with a little like spoolie applicator, which is a little nice addition. This is in the vanilla flavor. But through the colder months, I cannot live without this product. In fact, not even just in the colder months, all year round, I can't live without it because it helps my lips so much. I don't just use it at night. I also use it throughout the day too. It's like my go-to lip balm. I, they're there. Oh, I just need to run down and find these bin men because we've got loads of rubbish to be collected from the office. So pause one second, please. And I will come back in the midst of me helping the bin guys find where they were going. I've also eaten two chocolate biscuits. Like, of course. Next product, sorry. <laughs> Uh, I already spoke to you about it, Revitalash. Such an incredible product. And like, like I say, 129 pounds for this. Like, it's such a premium beauty product and one that I've added into my routine over the last six months. And I've seen such an improvement in the condition of my lashes. I wish I had pictures. Like I love when people show up before and after pictures, but I'm, I'm, I don't think enough for that. Next up, we have this Caudalie Beauty Elixir Spray. This is the freshest, most gorgeous, like awakening spray ever. The scent of it, it's kind of minty and fresh. I actually have one of these in my car. I use it all the time. It's such like a freshening, awakening spray. I've just I literally feel like I've drank an energy drink when I spray this on my face. It just really gives me a boost, really gives my skin a boost. It makes me really glowy. It tightens the appearance of pores and provides a burst of radiance to the complexion of your skin. Stunning. I'll take about 10 of those. Next up, we have an Espa full-size positivity candle. We had a candle in my last edit and it went down so well. Espa is one of my favorite 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 beauty brands i don't use like their skincare or anything but their shower gels their bath products their products like this like candles the scents it literally smells like you're in a spa i just feel like their products feel expensive they feel like luxury they remind me of spa days they make me feel just like i don't know like i'm treating myself when i use them we're still going yep still going uh we have an anastasia clear brow gel one of my go-to brow gels for so many years now it doesn't make your brows super crusty it doesn't leave any like residue it doesn't tint them it's just such a good product for keeping your brows in place all day i'm desperate to get my brows done but yeah, I know if I pop this in my brows in the morning, like literally if I'm taking clothes on and off, if I'm taking my jumper on and off, if I'm running around doing those things, I know my brows will literally stay in place all day. So really great staple product for your makeup bag. Next up, we have a full size Brazilian bum bum cream. One of my favorite body moisturizers ever. The scent is unmatched in my opinion. If you've used this cream before, you will know the scent of this is just, it is heavenly. I can't. It is absolutely insane. Like, I actually want to, uh, I want to eat it. It smells that good. This has been one of my favorite body moisturizers for years now. I absolutely love it. I have it in all the different scents that it comes in. It is so moisturizing, so hydrating. Next product, we have a NUX body dry oil. Now, if I'm ever on shoots or like I show any behind the scenes or anything and you see me glowing from within, you see my skin shining, she's shining, just know it's this product. Holly literally douses me in this product, like especially on filter shoots, PLT shoots, whenever I've got my skin out, like I'm covered head to toe in this, which is so great because it's a body oil and I literally leave the shoot feeling like I've had a massage basically, like I'm nourished, my skin is so hydrated. And then finally we have an iconic liquid blush. This is in shade Rose Riot. I wish I could put makeup products in my edits that are in all the different shades that people need and you know cater to all the different skin types all the different skin tones so when we were deciding what makeup products to put in this edit we wanted to make sure we put products in that we believed people with different skin tones could use um, and this blush is so beautiful it's so universal it looks good on so many different skin tones so this is it here it's like the most gorgeous corally 
pink i'm obsessed with it and like i say i feel like this is gonna look gorgeous on so many different skin tones and that was really important to me when putting makeup into this edit so yeah those are the 11 products that you're gonna get in this cosmetics edit as you can see it's insane it's literally insane and like i say you're technically getting like 10 products for free and the bag on top which is just insane because the bag I, I love it so much we've worked on this for so long now just to actually quickly show you what the bag looks like with nothing in it look how big it is it's literally like a tardis it's absolutely huge like imagine like going into a hotel and laying all of your beauty products out being super organized like not having them all over the counter and then when you're ready to go home you literally just pop them into one side close the lid and you're good to go i just think it's so cool i will obviously leave the link to my cosmetics edits down below like i've said so many times now i really don't want you guys to miss out because once they're gone they're gone they do not come back i really hope you guys love it as much as i do i'm so proud of this edit we've worked on it for so long now we've worked so hard on it and i just want to say thank you so much to jennifer from cosmetics for trusting me to do another edit and to compile my top favorite beauty products into this it's been so much fun and thank you to you guys as well because without you guys doing things like this wouldn't be possible it's a lovely moment right now sat in the new office looking at this new beautiful space talking about my new cosmetics edit it's a good day and now i actually need to get back home to my child because my mom's actually down at the minute which has been so nice my mom's been staying for the last couple of days um and she's actually putting Bambi down for a nap now and then tommy is home this afternoon it's the last weekend before the fight the fight is next weekend so actually when you guys watch this video the fight will be in four days <laughs> oh i cannot wait for this to be done as always cannot wait i'm not gonna lie this is a problem we need to get someone here asap to shut these windows it's not even cold you'd think it'd be freezing in here because the windows are like semi-open it's literally not it's just really noisy as you can hear anyway guys gonna pack this all up turn off all the lights because i literally just came in the office today just to chat to you guys and just to show you um it's a friday today no one's actually in on a friday so yeah tie away the office turn all the lights off and then i'll see you guys at home guys i've realized i never filmed an outro to this video i'm literally running around like a headless chicken today um so i'm just going to quickly outro this vlog this is 100 percent the worst outro i've ever done in my entire life and i've got zero minutes left on this sd card so let's make it a quick one if you made it to the end of this video i love you millions i'm actually filming another vlog today um that's why i want to quickly outro this one in fact no the vlog i'm filming today is going up today and this one's going up tomorrow two vlogs in i wasn't joking when i said i had no memory left on this sd card because i've now had to just film the outro on on my phone and i still after all this time don't know where to look when i'm filming on my phone camera's here i'm there i guess i'm looking here if you're wondering why i'm looking crazy right now i just had my eyebrows laminated and my eyelashes done because it's fight week prep but you'll have seen that all yesterday anyway i'm going because i'm just talking rubbish I'm meeting someone and they're just telling me where to meet them. Guys, I love you so much. Sorry for this awful outro. Like, this is actually embarrassing. I really hope you enjoyed this office tour. And I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.